Hi, it's Mark Marmer from Signature Electric. So we're continuing our series charging in condominiums for electric vehicles. So uh, usually I try to do these intros just sort of standing outside, like the weatherman out in front of the building. But today it is freezing cold and we're down here at the, uh, it's windy. It's not that cold, but it's windy. And we're down here at the Palace Pier, which is kind of a windy place at the best of times. So the Palace Pier is uh, down on the lakeshore in Toronto. It's kind of an iconic building. I built, uh, finished in 1992. One of the sort of first original series of buildings kind of stood out here on its own. They've been very uh, careful here to make this a very appealing place to live and trying to keep ahead of things. So for quite a few years now, they were talking about how they were going to manage electric vehicle charging. They have a pretty big garage and a big uh, space below. And what they decided on was to have a community charger, one dual community charger down in the uh, parking lot for uh, residents to use. So they've got a couple of spots downstairs. We're going to go down and we're going to take a look. Okay, so we made our way down to the garage. We're here. Behind me is uh, a charge point charger. Now, in one of the previous videos, you saw a couple of uh, signature electric chargers, uh, two of them that we were using for uh, community charging. Functionally, this is exactly the same thing. Each one of these is giving the same ampacity as each of, each of those chargers, but everything's in a single package. The nice thing about this charge point charger as well, it's got uh, cord management built into it. It's a really nice cord management. We have this at our shop. It's available as, as well in a slightly higher one. If you get it a bit higher, you get the cord a bit longer, but sometimes there's just not the height in the garage to put it in. So this was a solution that they decided on. They had these two spots. When we pulled in, I didn't see anybody charging, so I don't know how many people are charging overnight. It's completely independent. It uses a, an app to charge it. You can charge with the ChargePoint app or you can use a credit card here. So that's what they wanted. They wanted that flexibility. The other thing is these require a GSM or cellular signal. Now in this case, uh, it's hard to tell from where we are, but we're really close. This is a P1 level, but the garage doors are just over here. And I think the signal here was probably strong enough that we didn't need to uh, put it in. If you're, in some of the other videos, you'll see where we've had to install a GSM. We'll take a, a look at that as we go along. So this is turned, this is a, a very handy thing. It's a little bit more, a little bit pricier than what you saw with the two individual chargers, but it's a nice package. Now, if they decided to go at that point with um, chargers in individual parking spaces, maybe we have, we've have we exceeded the use of this one. The same system that we're using for billing and charging can be used for those chargers as well. So it'll be sort of a, a seamless one bill type of arrangement. The other nice thing about these is you see that everything is sort of together. It's a little bit twisted, but it's together. That's because these are locked into place. In order to, to release this, you need to put the, the, your, uh, use your app or charge it. Then you release it, you put it into your car. In order to stop it, you need to put it back in. That tends to get people keeping it neat, keeping it clean, and we don't have this problem of where, where does it go. So this is, a, this is a good solution here. We have two spots. You see that this has got a, a bollard in front. When these are, when this or any of the other chargers are placed in the garage, we need to provide some protection. So we could provide some protection by putting um, parking bumpers here so the car can't reach it. We could do this, we could have put a fence, we could have it behind a pillar, as long as we could sort of make sure that it's not going to be damaged. In this case, we have two very deep parking spaces. So this didn't really interfere, this didn't cause a problem. Sometimes if there's not enough depth, that can be a bit of an issue. You may have to sort of decide to put it you know somewhere off to a side or in a bit of an alcove the wiring is simple this this unit if need be the one at our shop does and i believe this one does shares the the one feed so if one person is charging they get the full amount if the second person is charging they'll get each will get less until the other one is charged up it's sort of all automated and built into the unit the other thing is this unit is a wall mount unit so the same unit is available in a pedestal mount so if we were putting it outside or what have you then we could order it whichever way we wanted very uh, very flexible so a perfectly good solution the whole idea of me showing you these different things is to get the idea that we're agnostic we're fine whatever makes sense for a particular location we can help you out with that uh, we're, we're a charge point distributor. We have our chargers. You saw uh, other manufacturers as well. We're fine to work with all these manufacturers and try to work out what's going to be the best solution for your property. So if you're interested, if you're in the, in the city and you wanted to reach us, you could certainly call us 416-490-8093. 
more information, more videos like this, more information about charging and a variety of other things, our website at signatureelectric.ca and even our YouTube channel, if that interested you. Sign up and then as these come out, we'll, uh, we'll let you know they're coming out. You can be one of the first to, to see them. Thanks very much.